Hey guys, Phil it here. Um, just want to take some time to go through marks with you guys. Um, I get questions daily about this, and it's who do, what should I use on this hero? What stats should I be picking? Um, what's this set good for? It's it's never ending questions, and there's never like a clean way to help someone with it. Uh, my answer is ends up being okay. What are you trying to do? Who are you going against? What are you trying to accomplish with this? Um, so I put this together to kind of try and help answer a lot of those questions and help people understand the way that I approach marks um, and maybe get you know that foundational set going a lot earlier than I ever did because um, I just rushed to get something a five star and I didn't care what it was because I just wanted those bonus stats um, when after the fact I realized if I had just taken a little more time I'd still be at where I was with just much much better marks um, so first thing we gotta understand, there's actually two types of marks um, that you'll get on every set. They're always in the same spots. Um, I broke them down into shield and sword marks. Um, shield marks primarily focus on defensive stats. They're always gonna be you know, middle left, top right, bottom right. Uh, your sword marks are primarily your attack stats. Um, those are gonna be upper left, bottom left, mid middle right. Um, and you'll see that it kind of breaks down that way. I'm sh I feel like they're going to add break to sword marks at some point and make them a little more balanced um, between the two stats. Um, but that's something that's not there today. So if it is there in the future, just know it, it counts. And um, well, break's probably going to have some priority because it's a great stat to have on your stuff. Um, next, I kind of want to jump into different types of marks. Um, first one here is your Kami set. Um, this works on so many different heroes and it's such a dynamic set um you can put this on your healers to make them really tanky it scales well with them you can put this on your skill heroes to make them kind of off tanks um but primarily you're going to find this on your off tank defensive heroes and your tanky skill heroes um so you're thinking s4 goku s3 goku rose um s3 gotenks is a skill rumchi's a good skill um and then Occasionally you'll see something off meta like a, off, or a main tank that heals themselves using it to take advantage of that heal shield effect. Um, really good, really dynamic. It's 60% defense, 40% HP, and that heal shield effect is just so good. Um, I primarily am going to keep this locked in on SSS heroes throughout this. Um, I understand that there's SS heroes that um you have these same questions for but a lot of ss heroes are similar to sss heroes in terms of stats and what you're trying to do with them so hopefully that'll answer your questions with your ss heroes as well um next set we have here is a shin set this is the healer set essentially um gives attack gives them stronger heals um and also gives them crit resist um so they're getting a little extra tanky there too um, you'll find this almost exclusively on healers, the Spados, Kusu, the Angels. Um, you will also find it in some weird setups with like Super Saiyan God Goku and Hits where they heal themselves a bunch. Um, so you get to take advantage of that attack and um, the healing effects make them just a little tougher. Um, maybe they're sitting in a weird off tank spot. Um, I've seen Super Saiyan God Goku in position 3. Um, to counter Gotinks, so Focus Fire never lands on him. Um, Gotinks is over super fast, so you hit him, lose his energy, the rest of your team crits a whole bunch, and he's back at full energy before he uses his special. Um, it's, it's a decent counter for that. Um, next we have Moset, which I'm sure everyone has and is stacking up as much as they can um, because it's just so perfect for attackers. Um, attack, crit, crit damage. Can't can't find three better stats to make your guys hit harder. <laughs> um, it's pretty much good on all attack heroes and then your Vegito, <laughs> uh, who's essentially attack hero hiding as a skill hero. Um, just so darn good. Um, and then finally we have, well not finally, we have Kaiset. Uh, this is your primary tank set. Um, doesn't really work on anyone but tanks. I've seen it on healers. I don't really, I don't think that was a good choice. <laughs> Uh, all you're getting is HP, and then block doesn't really scale on anyone, but the crit resist is nice. Um, so 
someone is getting hit besides the tank, it's not getting the one shot. Um, it's on my cooler right now, like you'll see here. Um, and then there are two more sets that I don't use. Um, Zen set and the Go set. Um, Zen, I think, has a place at some point in the future. Um, but building up the perfect Zen set is, is going to take so long. <laughs> um, it doesn't have crits. It's got attack. It's got hits. And it's got speed. Which means it's really good for PvP ish except it doesn't have that crit and crit damage which makes your single target or your aoe's hit like a truck um and a lot of times you'll see this on like utility attack heroes and skill heroes might be the niche where it fits the best um where you're not really you're not looking for damage from them so much um it's there's a certain utility they have and you still want them to have the attack and you still want them hitting first um which i guess kind of takes out super saiyan god goku but there, there's times where it would work um maybe it's a slow go tinks or something uh the ghost set is one of the most confusing sets i know of um you get all this crit um sorry that is not crit resist that is crit damage and i will fix that and there might be a weird jump cut now um it's meant to be used on people like Rose, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. There might be some attack heroes it's okay on. Like if you're facing off against an AoE team who's just one shot of your team. Um, you may focus on a defense to give your team time to get through their tanks to start wrecking their backline. I, I don't use them. I don't think they fit particularly well with what the game's forcing you to do nowadays. Um... But there may be an opportunity, like if you built the perfect Zen set that had tons of crit and crit damage on it, um, then this might work. Um, but for now, I, I don't use them, and I, I don't save the marks even. Um, so if they do become meta, then I'm, I'm in a tough spot. Um, next, I kind of wanted to break down a couple different categories of heroes you'll see, and help you kind of come to the right decision on what marks you're hoping to get out of those like what, what is a good looking mark for those heroes um and the easiest most widely encompassing thing you're going to see here is attack heroes um so on the shield marks um you're not going to find a lot of stuff that helps them um so you're you're focusing on speed you want it to have speed on it for sure and you want to have penetration those are the two stats that are going to help you the most as an attacker um and then after that's the attack stat. The base attack that you get off marks is just so abysmal and ineffective, it's unreal. Um, but it is attack, so technically if you had to choose among all these other things, then use attack. Um, the other thing is armor. Um, it's kind of a good general makes my guy not die instantly kind of stat. Um, Outside of that, for the shield marks, you're really not looking for much. It's just kind of where I sit on that. You could probably mark like defensive percentage as a 1 and HP percentage as a 1 too, but if your attackers are getting hit, it's either because you're both down to the end or you're losing really badly. Um, and then we get to the sword marks, which are great and absolutely have tons of great stats. Um, if I were to prioritize the top 4, um, crit then crit damage, then speed, and then attack percentage. And I know there's confusion on what attack percentage is doing, and I think it's important for everyone to understand that attack percentage isn't taking your, you know, let's say for instance my Beers has 5 million attack after all the buffs and stuff. It's not looking at that and saying, okay, let's add another 22% of that 5 million on top of it. It's going to that base attack value, that 500,000 or whatever's underlying, and saying, okay, let's add 22% of that on top of everything else. So it's additive as far as the other percentage buffs go, um, but multiplicative off of the base. Um, so you're getting 22% of 500,000 instead of 5 million. So it's not really a powerful stat. Um, if you stack another, of course it's going to be awesome. Um, and there's probably a play where instead of doing crit damage, you just stack massive amounts of attack on everything. Um, but again, this is to help people that are just trying to understand that first glimpse of what's happening with marks. Um, 
So from here, I'm kind of showing some examples of how this looks in practice. Um, so here we have um, two of my attack marks. Um, both are halfway decent. Um, but based off my point scale, and these are the shield marks, the ones that you just have a hard time getting value out of. Um, here we have two marks, pretty great. Um, but based on my scale, um, I want to focus on speed, penetration, and then, you know, armor and attack afterwards. Um, so here I have my shield marks. Um, these are two ones that I actually have. You'll see I've obviously augmented one I like better. Um, but if you score these, you'll see why I'm adding, I'm focusing on one over the other. Um, Attack, I don't think it's a great stat, so it's only weighted at one. Armor, I mean, it's there if you you had to have something, that's that's great, I guess. Um, and then Pen, which is a great stat to have. It helps you break through heroes that block a lot. Um, reduces their ability to block, which is really good. Um, but on this other mark, I actually have Speed on it. It has the armor, too. Um, and it's got Pen. Um, obviously, if I had two identical marks, I would say, okay, which one's got the best of the better stats? And go with that. So, even though this has got really high attack and it's got the same armor, this has much better pen, so it's still slated very heavily on that side. Um, next up, um, we have some sword marks on their side. Um, this one was kind of a <laughs> low hanging fruit easy. Um, but you can see it scores out, and I have a really, really halfway decent attack mark. It's got the crit on it. It's got speed and attack. Um, the only thing it's really missing is if that HP was crit damage, I, I would call this a perfect mark then. Um, and then our attack is, you know, it's worth something. Um, it's not super heavily weighted, and then surprising amount of, like, defense stuff happening on your attack marks, which isn't something you want. Um, so this is good fuel for leveling up something to five star um, uh, next up we have what i call dodge tanks um, which is going to actually encompass most tanks in the game outside of evil blue um, this this covers even you know cell champa golden cooler um fat boo all of these guys end up wanting to focus on these stats um Kibu would be one if you're looking at SS that you wouldn't include in this. Um, so this one's the exact opposite. There's a ton of defensive stats. And I actually had trouble saying oh, these are the top four. Um, so when it kind of got to the bottom, like this would be nice, this would also be nice, this would be nice. Um, they all got weighted one, and then it becomes down to like, you know, maybe something's got speed on it instead of HP. That might be the one you choose over um, something that has, you know, defense or, you know, um, and then the sword marks again. I it's it's hard, but it's hard from the other angle. Like, what do I pick on this? I don't really care about attack, attack percentage. Unless it's golden cooler, but that's a weird use case. Um, hit, crit, crit damage. Those things don't help tanks, and they don't help your team do better. Um, so we can look at some real examples. Here's our shield marks. Um, found a guy. It's got dodge. It's got block. And it's got defense, which I think is just fantastic. Um, Obviously, I would have loved to have some crit resistance in there instead of attack, but very, very solid mark for um, Golden Cooler, um, especially since he's got passive bonuses to block and passive bonuses to dodge. Um, really helps him out a bunch. And this other one's also a good Kami mark. Um, it's got that crit resist I'm looking for. Um, it's got some HP, you know, instead of defensive uh, defense. Um, and it's got really decent speed on it. So maybe, you know, if, if I'm in a pinch and I'm like, okay, I absolutely desperately need more crit resist or I just need to tweak some speed, even though it's kind of a low rate mark, it's not the worst worst thing out there. And it's okay to have something like this sitting in your bag. I mean, it might work better on someone else. Maybe you're trying to turn your tanks into like a mini tank or um, you want your Vados to be able to take a hit during IST. You know, there's, there's times where something like this is going to be a good mark. Um, and then next we have the sword marks. Um, I don't have great sword marks on pretty much any of my heroes. Um, or any of my Kami marks, I guess. Um, 
In this case, I don't need crit damage. I think I probably threw a basic augment at it. Not sure why. Um, but it does have speed, which I weigh very heavily on your, you know, off, off roll marks almost. Um, you know, this is a defensive guy. He doesn't really need um, these marks to be successful. He needs those other ones with the dodge and the block to be really good. So focus on getting as much speed out of these because that's just one of the absolute most important PvP stats you can have. Um, tenacity is super, super good stat, um, especially for the kinds of tanks that will be wearing on me. Um, and then this other one, it's, it's really good. I mean, it's got speed and armor, two decent tanky stats. I want the speed. Um, I just happen to weight tenacity personally a little bit higher than I would armor. Um, you can find armor on all the marks. Tenacity is only on these marks, so I give a little more weight. Um... And then finally, we kind of talk healers. Um, you want attack, and you want them to be able to take a hit, because a lot of times you'll find them in a position where they're that last line of defense before they start tearing into your DPS. Um, so, you know, defense, crit resist, you want them to be able to take those hits with these shield marks. And then the sword marks, you just raw attacks, the most important thing. Your heals don't crit. You don't need crit. Your heals don't miss. You don't need them to hit. The only one I care if they hit is maybe Kusu and Reese both have some on-hit abilities. Uh, Vados, though, I couldn't care. I don't need her to hit other people. I don't care if she does. Um, I need her to heal my team, give them big shields, and I need her to do it super fast. Um, and then this also further reinforces the be able to take a hit later. Um, and then finally, here's some shield marks I have. Uh, this is what they're using. Here's some other stuff I found in my bag. Um, these are both really good. Um, obviously, one I've already got leveled up, so it's going to take a lot higher priority. and Different slots and everything. Uh, I don't have the ability to put this one in yet, but I think it is a decent improvement over what's there. Um, but here, you know, it's got the speed, it's got crit resist, it's got armor. Not bad. All right, so next up is shield marks. Um, and this is actually a pretty good example of where I'm trying to upgrade something. Um, and so here we have speed, crit resist armor. It's not bad, it's doing the things I want it to do. Um, but there's actually a better mark sitting on the bench. Um, now these aren't the same slots, I'm just kind of using it as an example. Um, it's got the crit resist, it's got defense, it's got armor, um, which ends up making it a really, really good mark. Um, so eventually I, I plan to work that in. I just don't have the, the spare feeder marks um, to be able to get it there. Um, and I've definitely learned my lesson about reborning five-star marks. <laughs> um, so, you know, overall, solid. Um, and then finally, we have the sword marks. And this is the closest thing I have in everything to a perfect mark, as far as I'm concerned. It's got the attack, it's got the speed. Um, and then it's also got armor and tenacity. It just it makes, it's got tank and it makes the heals bigger and it makes the heals go off first. Um, and then I have something that's very clearly a feeder mark. Um, it does have some tenacity. It does have some speed. Um, but in this case, there's there's something so much better right next to it that the, I couldn't justify using this over it. Um, and really, that's that's really all I've got to cover now. Um, the goal of this is to just give you that baseline of this is good, this works. Um, how do I build my marks? How do I save up the right things when I'm doing a, when I'm trying to remake a mark or rework it or whatever? Um, what stats should I be shooting for? Um, and I figure this point system kind of helps you get there. Like, okay, primarily for healer, you're wanting to have attack on it, so be looking for something with high attack. Okay, so high attack, and then I've, next roll is something that's got high attack, armor, tenacity. Um, you're like, oh wow, obviously, gotta grab that one, and then you save it. And then your next re-roll is something that has, uh, you know, armor, tenacity, and speed. You're like, well, which is better? Hopefully this point system gets you there. You're like, I'd still rather have attack and speed on something over having all these other tanky stats. Um... Let me know what you guys think. Um, obviously, subscriptions, comments, all of it's welcome. Um, I've even got a stream that I do from time to time and on Saturdays uh, with good giveaways. Um, if you guys need anything, just 
hit me up in the comments or reach out to me on Discord. Uh, have a good day. <laughs>